Hello everyone, my name is Noptra and today we'll talk about ceramic biomaterials. So what is biomaterials? A biomaterials is any matter, surface, or constructed interrupt with biological system, materials of any synthetics as well as from naturals in contact with tissues, blood, and biological fluid, and intended for you for prosthetics, diagnostic, and storage application without any negatively affecting the living organism. So um, biomaterial can be classified into three main categories and they are inert, active, and degradable. Inert material elicit no or minimal tissue response. Active material actively interrupt with biological system in current bonding to surrounding tissues and durable material are incorporated into surrounding tissues or may even dissolve completely over a period of time. So now let's move on to a different type of biomaterials. There's three different types of biomaterials and they are metals, polymer, and ceramic. Metals, they are typically inert, usually you follow bearing application or you for the repair and replacement of hard tissue such as uh, bone, teeth, and include examples such as uh, stainless steel and titanium. Next one is polymer. Polymer may be inert, resorbable. It's famous for the flexibility and stability. Examples include polyethylene and polyurethane. And the last one is ceramic, which is the main topic of today's presentation. So ceramic material may be inert, active, or resorbable. It's used for the hardness, wear resistant, strain, insulating behavior, but also have some weakness like poor ductibility, brittleness, and very hard to mach machine. Examples include alumina, zirconia, carbon, and so on. Um, here's some structure of some ceramic material that I make. Zirconia, beta silicon carbide, and barium titanate. And here's the structure of a zirconia. This one has an FCC structure. The green atoms, they are zirconium, and the red one are oxygen. And the next one is barium titanate structure. This one also have an FCC structure. The pink atoms, they are barium. The blue one are oxygen, and the green one are titanium. And the last one is silicon carbide. This one also have an FCC structure. The green atoms, there are a uh, silicon atom and the white one are carbon atom. Yeah. The last one I wanna talk is application. Ceramic material for extensive application in biomedical field, particularly in dental and orthopedic application. For example, alumina is used as bone spacer to replace large section of bone affected by disease, uh, while zirconia is used for wear application in joint replacement, and while carbon for application in heart valves and Barium titanate serve as scaffold for bone tissue engineering. In conclusion, the rabbit, in conclusion, ceramic biomaterials play a vital role in modern medicine, offering a wide range of property and functionality that make them crucial in varied medical application. Thank you so much for listening. Last one, just some references. Thank you.